Welcome to the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. In this lecture, we will learn about the requirements to apply under the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program for work permit and also other benefits for permanent resident applications. What is it about? Canada encourages applications for permanent residents from people with abilities, education, and work experience that will contribute to the Canadian economy. The Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program allows Atlantic provincial governments to choose immigrants according to the economic needs of the province. Who may use this application? You may apply under the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program if you meet the eligibility requirements and plan to serve permanently in one of these Atlantic provinces. New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, and Prince Edward Island. Provincial Endorsement Before you can apply to immigrate to Canada under the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, you must first receive an endorsement letter from the Atlantic Province. Each province has its own application and endorsement procedures. However, IRCC has the authority to make the final decision on an application for permanent residence using assistance selection and admissibility criteria. This includes security criminal and medical components for candidates with Atlantic endorsement letters and valid job offers in one of the Atlantic provinces. As you can see, every website of each of the four provinces that we mentioned before have information about the Atlantic immigration program so we highly suggest you to check those links included in our lecture when it comes to checking the requirements of which provinces so we have here the website of the province of New Brunswick the website for the province of Newfoundland and Labrador the website with information for Atlantic immigration pilot for the province of Nova Scotia and the website with Atlantic immigration pilot information for the province of Prince Edward Island Legibility requirements. You must have the following work experience. Within the last three years, you have accumulated at least one year of full time or part time equivalent work experience in your main occupation at a NOC skill type zero, which means management jobs such as restaurant managers, mine managers, etc., or NOC skill level A. Professional jobs that usually need a degree from the university, such as doctors, dentists, architects, etc., or an NLC skill level V for technical job and skilled trades, such as chef, electrician, plumbers, etc. You have performed the actions in the lead statement of the NLC, which means you have performed the actions of of the occupation as the described in the NLC. You have performed a substantial number of the main duties of the NOC, including all the essential duties. Your work experience must be from paid work, volunteer work, and on paid internship do not count. So this is only experience that can as paid experience, paid work experience. You should be able to prove this uh, experience by preference from your employers, past employers, and past activities. You work overseas or in Canada as long as you were legally authorized to work in Canada as a temporary resident. Knows about work experience. Make sure you are applying for the right program based on your previous work experience. If you apply for the wrong program and do not have the work experience required for that program, your application for permanent resident will be refused. Full-time work experience means working at least 30 pay hours per week. You can count part-time work toward the work experience requirement as long as you have gained the killing amount of experience as someone who worked full-time for at least one year. It means 1,560 hours. Remember, the advantage of the pilot program will be that you can get a work permit with, without the need of LMIA. And then, once in Canada, you can continue your process to try to pursue your permanent resident application if you qualify, of course, with the other requirements. Education. 
You must have a high school diploma, post-secondary certificate or degree that is valid and equal to a Canadian equivalent. If you did not complete your studies in Canada, you need an Education Credential Assessment ECA to show that your studies are equal to a Canadian secondary or post-secondary certificate, diploma or degree. Your ECA report must be less than five years old on the day we receive your application. That's the information from ILCC. When it comes to language requirements, you must have a level 4 in the Canadian Language Benchmark, CLV, or the Niveau de Compétence Linguistique Canadien, NCLC, for listening, speaking, reading, and writing. You will need to do mandatory language testing and submit your original resource with your application. And if you have already done language testing, your test result must not be more than two years old on the day your application is received. Job offer. You must have a job offer that is from a designated employer in the Atlantic province and in this lecture we're going to include a list of all the designated employers for each province that are available. Full-time and non-seasonal have to be one-year contract and a type 0 or skill A or B of the National Occupational Classification NOC. You must submit an offer of employment, Immigration Form 5650, with your application. Your employer must complete this form and send you a copy to include with your application. You must read and sign the declaration at the bottom of the form. Very important. And as another choice, you also can check employers in the provinces. Let's take a look. Here we are in the website with the Atlantic Canada's top employers in 2019. These are the winners again. We're going to skip all the requirements and we're going to go straight to the list. And here we have the list of the best employer in the Atlantic region of Canada. And this is the list here. You can see the names of the company. Again, it helps you if you click any of these. It's going to take you to the page of this employer with information about the employer. Highlights, industry, gear, good information. And career directory when the employer uh, is there. And you can also just put in your keywords or your title and the province and find job related to that employer. Is this is this search is powered by eluta.ca. So interesting tool. You can go back to you can pick any employer and you can find more information as you saw we did with that employer. So highly recommend that you have the list of the best employers based on your profession, just look at the ones that are related to your industry and that way you can search and have a, a better opportunity to network, contact the people that have the hiring decision, they make the hiring decision for those companies uh, and or start networking with them until you find any connection or opportunity open for you. So please take a uh, check this list and also check the list of the uh, that are provided in the lecture for the uh, registered employers in the Atlantic program. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.